Thank you very much for agreeing to be part of the 2010 Electronic Articles Return. We'll be sending out these forms to you very soon. And the purpose of this training video is to show you how the quickest and easiest way to complete them is. The very first thing you'll probably want to do is to go to the file menu and save the form away to your hard disk. Uh, the chances of you being able to complete this up to one sitting are slim, so you may well want to come back to it uh, time and time again. And if you've saved it to your hard disk, that shouldn't be a problem. We'll come back to these two buttons at the top of the form uh, a little later on. As you'll see uh, when you receive your copy of the articles, they're deanery specific. Now I've got the Bosmere deanery example. Uh, yours will say whatever deanery you're in. And in the drop down, there'll be a deanery specific list of parishes uh, in alphabetical order. And all we do is invite you to uh, click the appropriate paragraph. And then you're set uh, to uh, complete the form. Uh, the first uh, form is for uh, church wardens, and if I show you how to fill this one in, uh, the rest are pretty simple and straightforward and follow on. Uh, simply type in the box. Uh, a quick tip here, if you want to move quickly to the next box, rather than picking up your mouse, if you hit the tab button, which is the big button to the left of the letter Q on your keyboard, you move straight on to the next box. It's just quick and easier. So there's the first box completed. Uh, if you do have an email address and are prepared to share it with the diocese, it's tremendously helpful and indeed cost effective in keeping in touch with uh, all the members of the PCC. So that's one completed form. Uh, the uh, form, in, certainly on the, the first section, is just a repetition of that. So there's church wardens, uh, an invitation to complete the uh, details for the PCC secretary and the treasurer, and the deanery synod representatives. The next section is electoral rolls, and again, you're just invited to uh, put in the appropriate numbers here. And again, you've got some drop-down boxes, which uh, should make your life relatively easy uh, for completing it. And then we move on to the questions, and again, there's a space in each question to uh, just type some text as, uh, as seems appropriate. I'm just writing a bit of gibberish there. I'm sure yours will be far more coherent. Uh, the only other uh, type of box to show you is this one, which are option boxes. And in this case, as you can see, uh, you'll be able to uh, identify as many as you uh, uh, need to with uh, your particular answer in your particular parish. The rest of the form is very similar. And therefore, let me move back now uh, to the top of the form and these two buttons. Uh, one is a print form uh, button, and as you can see, if you click that, you can print a hard copy, which you may well find useful for your records. And the second one is this submit by email. If you're using Acrobat Reader 9, once you click that, that will be the end of the job because the computer will automatically uh, connect uh, and attach uh, your completed form uh, to an email and return it to our designated email address at the uh, diocese. If you're using an older version of Acrobat, uh, 8 or below, then there's something else I have to show you. If you're using a version of Acrobat's Reader that is other than 9, then you may come up against uh, a dialog box like this when you click Submit by Email. If you have uh, something on your PC that is looking after your emails for you, collecting them from wherever they're stored and bringing them to your uh, computer, something like uh, Microsoft's Outlook Express or Outlook or Mail, uh, then the likelihood is that the default position, this one, will um, uh, light up for you and you would click OK. However, if you have to open an Internet Explorer and go to a website such as a Yahoo, Hotmail or Google Mail and uh, to collect your email, uh, you'll want this middle option. And when you click the middle option, uh, the green light moves down to it from the desktop email application, which is the default. And again, uh, uh, if you uh, have done that, then click OK. 
So if you do need to use that middle option, if you have Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo Mail, this is the final dialog box you'll come up against. It's a simple three steps. Uh, the first step, if you haven't already saved uh, the PDF file, then please do so. The second step is to type in the unique uh, email address for which we want these forms to return to, and that is returns at stedmondsbury.anglican.org and that address does appear on the uh, text half of this uh, PDF form uh, on the left hand side of the page and then the third um, element of this particular uh, form is just to attach the saved PDF file to the email and send your message and when you've done that just hit done